So today I'm going to show you how to make a simple house floor plan using Autodesk Inventor. Now obviously you can get a lot more complex than what we're going to do today. We're just going to cover the very basics and then you might discover that you have an interest in architectural engineering maybe. And this would be a great uh, starting point for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a part and I'm going to make the cement foundation that the house is going to be built on. So I'm going to start the sketch. Now I want my house to look like it's laying down, so I'm going to click this plane, which is the XZ plane. So then after, whenever I click on the house, it'll look like it's laying down. Okay, our house is going to be a simple uh, rectangle house. I'm going to make it um, 25 feet well, looking at it, this view would be tall and 20 feet wide or long. So this number on the right here is going to be 25 feet. Now you can either convert that to inches in your head, or if you type in 25 space FT, then Inventor will change that to inches for you. Then I'm going to push tab, and I'm going to put in 20 space FT, and it will change that as well. Finish my sketch. Click on my house so it zooms out for me, and this is my house foundation. 20 feet this direction, 25 feet this direction. All right, so I'm going to extrude this. Now, foundations are usually pretty thick, especially if you have a basement in your house. If you have a basement, it's probably 10 feet thick, um, but we're not going to design a basement. We're going to keep this very simple. So I just want this to look different than the house. I'm just going to make this two feet thick, so I'm going to put it as 24 inches. And then I, when I make my final house, I want this to look different than the rest of the house. So I'm going to change the material that it looks like. Um, I've looked through here looking for cement or concrete. I didn't find anything that looked great. What I did find that kind of looked like what I want is, I'm gonna go with crushed gravel. I mean, it's not perfect, but it kind of looks like cement to me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my H drive. Oh, wrong one, save as. Make sure you're on your H drive, and this is gonna be my house foundation. And I'm just gonna save that, and then close it. Okay, next I'm going to make a new part and we're going to draw out our floor plan. So I'm going to click start 2D sketch. I want to click, I'm again I'm using the XZ plane. Whatever plane you used for your foundation, use the same plane for the floor plan. It'll make it a lot easier when you get to the um, assembly step. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to make my rectangle the same size. It's 25 feet tall, 25 space FT, tab, 20 feet wide, 20 space FT, enter. And I've got my floor plan. Zoom out here. Okay, so I'm going to divide the house into three parts. We're going to have a living room. We're going to have a bedroom. We're going to have a bathroom. Very simple. So the first thing I need to do is make the outside walls. In order to project, or sorry, in order to extrude walls, make it look like I have walls, I need to have some sort of thickness. You can't, you can't extrude a, a line. You have to have a gap between lines. All right, so here's an easy way to do this. If you click Project Geometry and just click on the, well, why isn't it doing it? Okay, I guess I don't need to click Project Geometry. I did it before, but it's not requiring it this time. So forget about Project Geometry. What I clicked was the offset here, and that's going to give me a um, perfectly even 
shape, whatever thick, whatever distance I want between the outside shape and the inside shape, and they'll both be the exact same size. So an average wall is four inches uh, thick. Um, that's the thickness of a two by four turned sideways plus the thickness of the two pieces of sheetrock that make up a wall. It's not exactly four inches probably, but we're going to keep it simple, make it four inches. Okay, I'm going to use a line to divide my living room from my bedroom. Again, make sure it's straight up. Make sure that angle says 90 degrees. And I'm going to use a line to separate my bathroom and my bedroom. And again, make sure it's straight. We don't want crooked lines, crooked walls in our house. Go ahead and cancel the line tool. Now, I'm going to set the dimensions of my rooms. So this one's going to be the living room. Okay, I want that to be 15 feet, 15 space FT. I want the distance between this wall and this wall for my bathroom to be... Okay, I don't know why. I don't know why it's giving me that error message. I'm going to delete this line. For some reason it did an auto it had an auto center on there and I didn't mean for it to be auto centered. So I'm going to try again. I just deleted the line. I'm going to make a new line. Hopefully it's not auto centered this time. I'll use my dimension tool. There we go. And I want it to be 96 inches, which is 8 feet. So that way my bedroom is bigger than my bathroom. That's why I don't want them to be the exact same size. And I got a very large living room area here. Okay, so um, next I need to make the lines in, uh, that are offset from the lines I just made so that there is a width or a thickness for my walls because, again, I cannot extrude a straight line. So I'm going to make another line right here beside this line. Make sure it goes all the way across. A line from here to here all the way across. And I'm going to use my dimension tool to set those also at four inches. Four. Four. There we go. Now when I finish my sketch, I can uh, extrude my walls, but you got to make sure you click the space between the lines. Don't click the line itself. Okay, an average uh, wall height is eight feet. So you can type in eight space FT, or if you can convert that in your head, eight times 12 is 96. So I'm going to put in 96. <clears throat> and there are there is the floor plan of my house. So here's my living room, bedroom, bathroom. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is put in doors. I'm going to have a door into the living room here. I'm going to have some windows in my living room. I'm going to have door between my living room and bedroom, bedroom to bathroom, bathroom to living room. I'm not going to put any windows in my bathroom. Well, I might put some small ones up top. You don't want a big window in your bathroom, obviously, because you want some privacy while you're in there. And I'll probably put a window in my bedroom as well. Anyways, that's all for now. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to add in the doors and windows. Oh, oh, make sure you save your project. Save as. Nope, not save copy as. Save as. House floor plan. All right, now I'm going to stop and I will show you in the next video how to do the doors and windows.